Oh. Dozens of videos show chaos across Minneapolis overnight on July 4th. Fireworks shot near and at people, cars and police. This after weeks of preparation by city safety leaders and police. 16 people were arrested for the violence. Morgan Wolf is live in Minneapolis right now with how safety leaders are pushing back and what's next with another big event just two weeks away. Morgan. Yes, Chief Brian O'Hara says that majority of those arrested were teens, which has some parents that I spoke to today frustrated and wondering if there could have been more done to prevent this. A warm July day. <laughs> bringing together April Bolson and her children. Enjoying their family time at Boom Island Park. It's like a mother's intuition, I feel like. You know, you know, it's time to go, it's time to go. Last night. So it's like, I knew, I'm like, uh-uh, it's time to wrap it up. A different story. But we stayed a little, like, close to 10, and it was even, it was getting bad then. Large groups of teens near Boom Island Park were shooting fireworks at an MPD squad and people. Oh, oh, oh. Independent journalist Rebecca Brannon then capturing this video showing a young man hit by one of the fireworks, bleeding as people called 911. Brannon followed the chaos as the group went from Boom Island to Lake Nokomis. More recklessness with the fireworks. We are trying to de-escalate and we're trying to get people to move along. We're trying to get people to sh stop shooting fireworks at people. But it's just not realistic. Minneapolis police say that they use non-lethal tactics to get the large groups under control, arresting 11 teenagers and five adults in the process. When compared to last year, the MPD was overwhelmed and overrun. This year, we kept these groups on the run throughout the night. It ruins it for everybody else because you don't know if it's a gunshot or if it's a firework. Chief O'Hara says that they doubled the amount of officers over the weekend compared to last year, and he says, to, statistically speaking, that it was better than last year. But with all the extra help that they had to get from other agencies and still struggling with their staffing issues within the department, he doesn't think that it's sustainable efforts. Back to you.